as organ valves, the organ uh, valves, right? For organ valves. So that individual is organ monk. If someone doesn't have that, then it's lead person. Okay. And there's two kinds of lead persons. Again, I was say ordinary, ordinary lead person and a lead person. Sort of like okay, lead person. <laughs> Just a lead person, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, kimba, Peppa the Kimba, yeah. So lead person, or I would go the other way. Lead person and ordinary lead person. Okay. <laughs> just an ordinary lab person. Or, and just an ordinary lab person means someone who doesn't have uh, five precepts of vows. Okay. So then that is considered a really ordinary lab person. If someone has that, still it's like a lab person. Okay. So because we call them lab person because they do not they do not have Ordained <laughs> So the eight worldly activities or concern, right? Dharma, eight worldly Dharma, something to do with Dharma, activities. So these are <coughs> so Dharma, not the worldly activities, I'm saying worldly activities. But if you engage, there are, like, there are uh, eight, right? So we should actually go to all the beliefs, you know. If we have, we, so always try to be happy, uh, no, uh, desire to be happy, you know, like, uh, desire, Wealth and so on and so forth, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then, oh yeah, so let's say the, so this, almost if you engage into those act worldly activities with subtraction, then that is actually similar like a liar, right? Luring you, you know, so with luring you, sort of like, you know, so like deceiving you. Okay, if you do, if you do this dharma activities with your self cherishing, but that seems like you know it can be done without self cherishing. Today, Narayan Ji said that Narayan Ji said that Guru Guru, 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 Narayan Ji said that ที่มาบีอาริสที่ซาตุสุคุเรติเบนี่เลริเจวาจีคุเรติมุจิรัจจินิโกอุกิญาชุดุสุยาราจินเจโกมิจิมบัตตายาตุสุคุเรติเบจ
Self-cherishing is not bad all the time. Okay, there are uh, there are some qualities, good qualities of like self-cherishing. For instance, you know, the, uh, the, so because of self-cherishing, then we tend to practice more and we do like engage, we engage into virtuous act, virtuous deeds out of like self-cherishing. To uh, and also. We would say that there are like two extremes, right? Two extremes, like an nihilism and externalism, right? So because of we believe, like for instance, for in nat in, in general, right? We, so we naturally we believe in internalisms, okay? So the nihilism actually takes you to lower ends, okay? And uh, the keeping view on like externalism actually helps you to uh, uh, you know, obtain higher rebirths, okay, like gods and demigods and human, human, human realms and so, so forth. Because we have that uh, view, and that is actually helps us to, uh, so you desire to be happy, you know, so you try to like make yourself happy. Because of that, you do all kinds of things out of like uh, the eternalisms, okay, so that is negative. That is, in general, that is negative idea, right? Negative, negative idea, anyway, negative idea. <laughs> so that actually helps you to obtain higher rebirth, right? So that is, and that is, and also that is self-cherishing, self-cherishing, because it's a wrong view, and that is self-cherishing, right? So then, and also, let me say the, you know, like, uh, our hearts, right? Our hearts, they do have self-cherishing, you know, they do have self-cherishing, and because of their self-cherishing, then, uh, I mean, they have self-cherishing, you know, they say they have self-cherishing. So we here, so we we are trying to look um, bad things, bad things about self cherishing, right? Because so this is one thing is sure, and so all the bad things actually caused by self cherishing. There's there's you know so there's no other like uh, other causes that actually makes you difficult suffering. This is sure. This is hundred percent sure that all the bad things are actually caused by self cherishing. That's why we try to look. The bad thing about self cherishing, but there are some good qualities of self cherishing, and also because of the self cherishing, if you do any actions, any virtuous actions, so you will create like virtuous karma or positive karma. You know, the white seeds or the white seed. That white seed belongs to samsara nature, but it's not beyond samsara's nature because you have created that karma out of your self cherishing. So if you create something karma, some karma without self cherishing, that actually belongs to beyond, you know, the samsaric phenomena. Okay, samsaric phenomena. That becomes the uh, the causes of that becomes the causes of the uh, what's it, the Buddhahood. Okay. So if you create any karma like out of your self cherishing, there may be some happiness, there may be some positive uh, consequences, but they never becomes the causes of uh, the ultimate goal. Okay, that belongs to samsara, that absorbs into samsara. So it's now going, never cross that kind of boundary, sort of like, okay? So again, you know, so, so then uh, the self cherishing, right? Self cherishing, so Mahayana practitioners, so right? Mahayana practitioners, all the virtues should be, you know, free from self cherishing, okay? Self cherishing. If you, know, if you created some kind of karma after like self cherishing, even though it's like a good karma, but it never, it, it is not Buddhist um, um, uh, the 
bodhisattva deeds, bodhisattva activities. It never becomes bodhisattva activities. In order to become the bodhisattva activities, you have to free from self cherishing So then, all the actions become bodhisattva deeds. Clear? So, <laughs> self cherishing that relates to virtuous activity and toward eliminating the afflictions can be good. Yeah. And, but until we completely relinquish self cherishing, then we can't attain Buddha. Well, what can you say again? So self-cherishing related to virtue is, is good. Yes, good. But yeah. then eventually, to attain Buddhahood, we have to completely get rid of self-cherishing. Yes, yes. Amen, then, yes. So first we get rid of the bad self-cherishing. ตรัสยาดุสมัยเราก็ตรัสยาดุสมัยเราก็ตรัสยาดุสมัยเราก็ตรัสยาดุสมัยเราก็ตรัสยาดุสมัยเราก็ตรัสยาดุสมัยเรา
Gatavala Subhadra Sulichya Balakini Kaisa Madhukha Vantra Dukha Yaris Yam Madhukha Vantra Yati Pera Anchinja Virchir Tengu Yere Kasani Tema Yaris So again, you should, you should keep in mind that So it's not necessary, you have to have some sort of kind of karma or you know, virtue that actually derive from self-cherishing, self-grasping to uh, obtain the higher rebirth. Okay? There are other causes, you know, so there are other karmas, there are other virtues that can bring, that can bring uh, higher rebirth without having uh, self-grasping, self-cherishing. Mm. Okay? There's a connection between shunyata and self-cherishing, so that like if your viewpoint, like from if I look at my life, I say, well, I did this, I did this, I did this, but always like you know from from a point of view of like if you're studying you know forms and emptiness and emptiness is form, we're always we never ultimately we're always in a state of becoming and we never ultimately exist. So if you're always on think that way, then then you like kind of like defeating the self charging. That that's one question. The other question is you mentioned the these the, the, the lifetime the, the you mentioned um lay person. And I, I've always been confused about this. There are two types of lay persons, one that takes lifetime uh oh, refuge yeah. and the other that takes another type of refuge. Five five percent they say that they put it five percent. One of them, one of them doesn't like include like drinking and stuff like that. Oh! Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, it's Shunyata, is this a single point of concentration or no, no, is it is it is okay. we don't want to do this? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, what was the second question that you asked? There's something that you brought up, this thing about these two two different um, lay persons. Yeah, the lay. Were you talking about the different types of vows? Oh, uh, okay, okay. This is the uh, 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 ランチンジセジュラン。ランチンジセジュラン。トミーのメディーのデオヘヨルです。でな、そうそうに、あ、そうそうに、トマニコン、そうそう、そうそう、あ、あの、ちょっと、トミーでまたよ。トミーでたま
people that don't take any vows and people that take some vows. She has some vows. Now, now some vows, I don't know, five, five, five vows, she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so alcohol, right? Alcohol, there must be uh, toxic and intoxicant substance, right? Intoxicant substance is actually in, 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 in Buddhist, right? In Buddhist point of view, it's like a like a porn bit to everybody, even if they have vows or not, that is totally something unacceptable. Okay, so this is like you know, so you say. So it's because it's not because of the like vows and this is the substance it says that that's why it's you know prohibited for like you know. And this is what happened then this year because you know because uh the Rajin 